<laughs> this is Squeaky. He's our little frizzle cockerel. And I thought I'd make this film because quite recently we've had some very low temperatures here down to minus 15 degrees C and I found him one morning with a bad stress attack that was not just due to the cold weather but also because he's recently also been deposed as head of the hen house by a younger frizzle and uh, I could see he was in a bad way he was sitting down on his own uh, he wasn't talking to me which was unusual he hadn't had any breakfast and when he tried to stand up when I came near him he was very unsteady on his feet so I knew I had to do something quickly. I obviously filmed this some days later when he was a lot better. I couldn't film it at the time for obvious reasons but uh, I hope this will help you. In birds stress can be fatal. So what do you do? Well the first thing I would do would be to try and get an electrolyte into the bird to get its system running again. That would be a little organic sugar dissolved in some warm water and try and get the bird to drink a little. If the bird is gasping do not try to get the bird to drink because you run the risk of getting water into the bird's lungs. So I would take a very small piece of fruit dip it into your sugar and then introduce that into the beak and even if the bird can't swallow the fruit the sugar will be absorbed. This is Bob, he's a golden sea bright and I wanted to show him because his father and Squeaky's great grandfather are the same bird. The problem with sea brights and especially with frizzles if you cross from a sea bright is that they have very very fine feathering and are not very good in cold weather. You can see from Bob that um, he doesn't have the usual hackles and saddle feathers of cockerel. The sea bright is the one breed where the hen and the cockerel have the same feathering. So in frizzles where the feathers go backwards this can cause gaps in the feathers and can cause problems in cold weather and in hot weather where they can get sunburnt. You can see in the photograph of Frizzante who was Squeaky's great grandmother uh, where he got his fine feathering from and when I got him inside he even in the warm he was no better in fact he was losing his balance all the time and as I say he wasn't speaking so I went on to further treatment which is one I've used before even in the case of stroke it's um, it's a combination of things really but um, it's from the Ayurveda and also from Chinese medicine and that is to use turmeric and I use it in combination with coconut oil which I melt in a teaspoon and I also add for selenium I add a very small amount of grated Brazil nut the problem with Squeaky, although he looks okay now, is that being a frizzle he's always got forward facing feathers and forward facing feathers are a mark of aggression in cockerels and hens alike. So although he may not be wanting to fight, he always looks as if he is. So he can actually control these feathers. Um, in the rain they can put the feathers down and also if they go towards a cockerel and they don't want to engage with him then they can put their feathers down to make themselves look smaller. As I said he had really really bad case of stress so I did uh, give him a secondary treatment. Nutrition is always a primary consideration in organic poultry keeping and it's particularly important in the case of stress because this depletes the system of essential nutrients and the treatment I gave was to reinforce the system. Uh, just be careful in the case of selenium because in large amounts this is toxic. But I've also set the information down in the details below the film. When I started raising poultry organically over 10 years ago now there was very little information. I've gleaned it mostly from observation talking to people and also reading and I hope you'll be inspired to have a go and raise your own poultry as well. Thanks for watching.
say a few words, please? Oh, good time. <laughs>